Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. So today we will learn about one of the frequently asked interview question that is can we update a view in SQL? So let's see and this is part 18 of this series. So let's dive into today's session. So the first question is can we update a view in SQL which is built on top of a single base table? And the scenario 2 is can we update a view in SQL which is built on top of multiple base tables? So let's see the answers for these two questions in detail using the SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go back to the SSMS now. So we are currently in SSMS. So let's see. Let's understand what is a view. So view is a virtual table and it does not hold any data. However, when you fire that particular query or when you select that view, it will fire the SQL query behind that view and it will execute the SQL statement and it will fetch the data. Right? So let's understand when a view is built on top of a single base table whether can we if we update the view whether the base table will be affected or not. Scenario 1 will see a view which is built on top of a single base table. So for that I am creating a table table employee. It got created and I am inserting three rows to that particular table. Selecting the table there are three rows. Now let's create a view on top of this particular TBL employee underscore view. This is the view I'm creating on top of this TBL employee table, right? Let's create that. Yeah, the view got created. Now let's see the view. Let's select the view also. So I'm selecting the table as well as the view, right? So the same data is present. So since it's a single base table, right? Let's see if we update the view whether the underlying table also gets updated or not. Right? For that, I am updating the employee underscore view and setting the department to 1 1 for the employee ID 1. Right? So let's select that. So I am selecting the view, I am selecting the table and I am selecting the updating the view. And selecting the table back right let's execute this so as you see so if you go to the messages the first select statement there are three rows retrieved and the next update statement one row got updated and then we are selecting the three rows right so coming back to this the first one for the employee ID one department ID equal to one employee ID one department ID changed to 11 right so whenever you update a view on top of a single table right it it also updates the base table so if you update the view or the table it means the same so this is the scenario one going back to the scenario two in this the view is built on top of multiple base tables so for that I am creating a table table employee and department so let's create these two tables TBL employee got created, department also got created. Let's add a couple of rows to this. Now let's select the these two tables. That is the employee underscore as well as the department. So this is the employee table and this is the department table and we are joining on department ID right so let's uh, go to the view definition that is employee underscore department is the view and we are using TBL employee as well as department as the base tables right let's create this view so let's drop this view first and then create the view again the view got created now we have the view and tables 
so the first one is employee and the second one is department and we have the employee ID, employee name and department name from the view right let's see if we update the view can it also update the base tables right so for that I am updating the view and employee name from employee table and department name from the department so here I am updating the employee name that is employee employee ID 1 the employee name employee 1 to employee 11 and department name from HR to human resource right let's see if we update that view will it update the base tables as well execute so it says view or function employee department is not updatable because the modification affects multiple base tables so the update column set right the employee name is from employee table and department name is from the department table so it says it is not updatable right let's see what happens if the updating column is belongs to single table so here we are using the employee table alone so let's see the employee table before updating and let's select the employee table after updating so the, I'm updating the view here and the employee name from employee 1 to employee 1 1 right let's select this first so the employee ID we are modifying the employee ID 1 only and employee name from employee 1 to employee 1 1 right let's run this together so here the view is even though it is combination of multiple base tables the update columns it belongs to only one table that is table employee so that's why it is updating the base table that is table employee so this is before update and this is the after update right let's try updating the department name as well so before that let's run the department table So here I'm up updating the view here and selecting the department. So this is the HR department. I'm updating it to human resource, right? Let's run this together. Now the HR has been updated to human resource. So by this, what we can understand is that the updates can happen when you update a view and it is being based on multiple base tables still you can update that view provided the update column set right this set column list right should belong to one single base table however it is wise to update the base table instead of updating the view right so let's quickly recap uh, what we have learned in this session and I'll also keep these scripts on my blog if you want if you need them you can just go to my blog and you can copy the scripts from there so before winding up this session let's quickly recap so the scenario one can we update a view which is built on top of a single base table the answer is yes we can update the plain view because it's built on single base table and the scenario two can we update a view which is built on top of multiple base tables the answer is yes and no yes is when the update column list belong to single table then we can update it however we cannot update a view where the update column list belongs to multiple base tables however it's wise to update the table instead of the view right please subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day thank you for listening thanks for your time